Easy Company's mission into the heart of occupied Normandy is not off to a good start. The Nazis have been expecting an invasion for months. And they are letting the aircraft carrying the Screaming Eagles have it. As they near the drop zone, Easy Company prepares to make their jump. Second in command of a platoon and about to make his first ever combat jump is 22-year-old Second Lieutenant Buck Compton. A heavy cable ran down the ceiling of the inside, front to back. Just before we were to jump, we'd clamp ourselves into that cable, which would pull our chutes from their bags once we jumped. There was no singing, no patriotic talk. Adrenaline surged, but I didn't feel nervous. This was what we'd signed up to do. Easy Company's advanced parachute training took place at Fort Benning, Georgia. In order to finally qualify as a paratrooper, the men had to make five live jumps carrying all their gear. Most of the paratroopers carried their heavy equipment in a bag strapped to their leg. So the system set up here is that I have a leg bag here attached to a strop on the harness. And what I would do is as I'm coming into land, about 150 feet up, I'm gonna bring my leg up to release the straps, and then I'm gonna kick the bag down onto my boot. And when I'm ready, I'll kick the bag off. And now I'm free to come in without all of my kit and hopefully do a safe parachute landing. Under the right conditions, this tried and tested method is the best way to drop into battle with a lot of gear. For Easy Company, things aren't going according to plan. Still under heavy fire, the inexperienced C-47 pilots react instinctively to avoid being shot out of the sky. They open up their throttles. The pilots were supposed to slow to almost a stall so we could jump out. But our pilot didn't slow at all. I can only assume he was in a real hurry to get out of there. Easy Company's men are given the signal to jump. But they're traveling way too fast. As soon as I jumped and felt the opening shock, the straps holding the bag flew off over my boot. The cord attached to the bag began to feed out so fast I couldn't hold it. It was burning my hands, so I let go. The bag disappeared into the night. Strapped to my belt were a trench knife and a canteen. With my leg bag gone, those were the only supplies I had. And right behind him is 21-year-old Sergeant Bill Garnier. Making it through the jump alive was a feat. Your heart's pounding, the sky's chaos. The planes are dumping men from Cherbourg all the way to Paris. All in the wrong places. Thousands of troopers coming down from the sky. It was like a duck shoot for the crowds. 